Hey everyone, Phil is live here and welcome to another creation kit tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a new weapon. Okay, first what you're going to do is go to file, data, load up the master file and hit OK. Okay, now we're going to find an area to put this new weapon into. So I'm going to go down and select the good neighbor memory den. You can pick any area you want, obviously. Just double click any, any random item in the cell view window and it'll it'll load up in the uh, the cell, cell view window. Okay, now we're in the memory den. Just gonna have a look around, pick a little area. I think I'm gonna put it on this little bed here. Okay, now I've selected an area to put the weapon on. What I'm gonna do is go to the object window. So usually be found in the bottom left. I'm gonna go down to items, and then I'm gonna go down all the way to weapon. I'm gonna hit default, and then I'm gonna go to weapons. This will give you quite a large list of weapons that are only in the main game. If you want to load up the DLC, select that in the data thing at the start. Okay, I'm just going to hit the minigun because I think it's probably just going to be pretty easy for this tutorial. Okay, there's three choices here. There's minigun, minigun, vertebrate, and minigun, vertebrate player. We only want the minigun because anything with vertebrate on it, it's going to be related to the vertebrate. So just double click minigun. Or sorry, don't double click. Just click and drag that into the cell view window and it will appear in front of you. Okay, now we've got that in there. What we're going to do is double click that. That's going to bring up the reference window. We're going to hit edit base. Okay, now I've got this little weapon window up. What we're going to do is create a new ID. This is going to be how you're going to find it in future in the creation kit or the object window. So I'm going to call it something I can remember. Okay, I'm going to use that same ID as the name, it doesn't matter. I'm going to change that little comma there. I'm going to hit OK to create that new form. Hit Yes. We're also going to mess up every minigun in the game. Okay, now we're, going to, we're back in the reference window. We're going to hit Edit Base once again. Okay, so now we're back in the weapon uh, window. We can change the weight, the reach, speed, reload speed, attack relay, everything you see here could be changed. So I'm going to change the weight to 2. I'm not going to touch the reach. I'm not going to touch the speed because it's a minigun so it'll be fast enough. I'm going to change the reload speed to 0 0.2. Okay, this is the base damage per bullet. So I'm gonna put this to something ridiculous. So I think I'm gonna put to 200. So obviously per five shots, which will be every like half second or whatever, it's gonna be a thousand damage. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna hit right click and new and then add some energy damage. That'll bring up a little selection box. Just pick whatever damage you want, hit okay. Pick how much damage you want, 100, shot, 100 extra per shot on top of the base damage. So I'm going to hit OK again. OK, so now I've got 300 damage per bullet and 100 of that is energy damage. I wouldn't sh touch any of the flags because they'll usually be pretty set up anyway, unless you're making a custom weapon from a new, new mesh and uh, texture. OK, I think I'm going to change the minigun projectile to the missile projectile. It'll bring up a little... little uh, box you can choose from but you just can't see it because of the recording software I'm using at the minute. I still want you, you can change the ammo to any ammo type you want. And this is going to be the capacity that you'll hold per reload. I'm going to change it to 5000 just to be ridiculous. Okay so this is a pretty uh, decked out minigun so far. Obviously you can change any value or do anything you want with any weapon. It's up to you to be creative. So I'm just going to have a quick little scan over this, and yeah, that looks fine, so I'm going to hit OK. One last thing, which you won't be able to see in this video, in the Ownership tab, you can see beside 3D Data, just hit uh, No Crime. But OK, there we go. Now we've got it back in the uh, cell view window. I'm just going to place that on top of the bed, like I said before. If you want to learn how to... Uh, move the camera around and some of the basic scat. Watch my very first video in the series. I'll show you how to manipulate items and uh, a, little, a couple tips that I have. Okay, so 
I'm just gonna place this on the bed a little bit more natural. So I'm just gonna drop that with the Z key. Yep, that looks fine. Job will do. Okay, now we're done here. So we're gonna hit file and save, and we're gonna come up with a name for our ESP. So just call it anything you like, anything you want. This, obviously, whenever you upload to the Nexus, you can rename it again, but this is gonna be, whenever you download this ESP, that's gonna be the name on your machine. So I'm gonna call this the Missile Minigun, because that's easy to remember and yeah. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm gonna hit save one more time, just for luck, and we're gonna load in game and load the ESP. Okay, now we're in the main menu. What we're gonna do is go to mods, it's gonna log in there, and then we're gonna go to load order. Which is me is for T, I don't know what it is on the Xbox. So I'm just gonna deselect them two mods because that's just project. And then we're gonna click the file that we're working on currently, and then we're gonna click back and then back again. Okay, now that's loaded up, we're gonna hit load and uh, I've got a little save outside the memory down here, ready to go. And I hit yes, that's just because I've deactivated some uh, files. Okay, so we're at the memory down, just gonna go inside. Okay, so I put this upstairs on one of the beds. Alright, uh, yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, the only reason this is uh, says steal is because I didn't do the uh, player do not steal tag on the... Uh, I went over it earlier, but yeah. It doesn't bother me anyway. If it wasn't in this uh, place, it wouldn't be... If it was outside in the open, it wouldn't have been uh, steal anyway, so... Okay, so as you can see, it's got 355 with my uh, multiplier multipliers plus 100 damage, so it does 455 per shot. It does shoot missiles as we wanted. As you can see, it's just fucking ludicrous. I'm not so. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this would run on, like on the Xbox, because there's quite a lot of, uh, you know, effects going on at once. But I'm sure it would be okay. Obviously, one of these bullets would be enough to destroy anything in the game, but you know, it's all good in the hood. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please like it. If you uh, like my content, please subscribe, and I hope to see you in one of my future videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.